mix them with the microbes. The microbes are pretty happy because we keep them at a warm temperature. And they break down those all of the, the nasty pollutants on them. It's basically crap there. And they convert it into biogas. Have you guys heard of biogas by any chance? Today, the students are over at USF touring the College of Engineering labs. The goal of the Sagicor Visionaries Challenge is to build sustainable Caribbean communities. We feel that one way to do that, and the most important way to do that, is actually through education, where we actually have to start changing curriculum and the way students and people think, behave, act, solve issues. So I've been on sabbatical since last August with the Caribbean Science Foundation, where I'm a visiting research scientist. I helped to start that organization and sit on the governing council. We started it in 2010. It's an NGO based in Barbados, but really addresses science and technology in the Caribbean region where I'm originally from. This year, we started an initiative called the Sagicor Visionaries Challenge, which speaks to secondary school students across 12 countries in the Caribbean region and says to them, what's a challenge facing your school and or community? How would you solve it? Solve it in such a way that you come up with a solution that's innovative and that is sustainable. And in your solution, show us how you use science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. Those students and teachers from the winners now from all 12 countries, they're now here in Florida in our inaugural STEM ambassador program. We're holding it at Mosey, but we've um, have worked very closely with the educational department there to sort of develop a program that matches things that we think the Caribbean is missing or needs or that we have expertise here. And so we're actually trying to build the institutional capacity in the, in the Caribbean. Many of the islands have high energy costs, are limited in terms of water resources, limited in terms of many other natural resources. So from a research perspective, we actually think that the islands are a great place to study sustainability because the need is so pressing there. Uh, the whole premise was that these are things that students want. What would make your school the most sustainable? The, the, the school that you want to come to every day and never leave. And students may say, well, it's hot. Students may say, well, the food in the cafeteria is unhealthy. And we want to grow our own and then supply it, you know. And they have, they do agricultural science there. We're really going to talk about the partnerships that we could establish. Could we write grants so that U.S.-based teachers could go to the Caribbean region? Could we write grants so that U Caribbean teachers can come here for an extended period to do research in our labs the way that our teachers here in Tampa are doing right now um, with us through an NSF grant?